Good morning, good morning. Gail. It is good. Good morning. <laughs> We're on a good morning. I get up and my two feet support me. And Yay! I can still take food and, you know, it's, <laughs> it's the little things, right, Grammy? It is at this age. <laughs> so, um, you are going to take me through draining the boiler on a heat exchange. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this, so, is the, this is the uh, Rocket Classic and it's a heat exchanger. Okay. And why would I want to do this? If you're going to ship it anywhere or store it, you want to get the water out of it, especially if you're in a cold part of the country because it will, if there's water in there and it gets below freezing, it'll burst your boiler. Because it will expand when it, when yeah, it freezes. When, when water turns into ice, it expands something terrible. Okay. And All right. So shipping, I mean, even if you're in a warm zone, if you're shipping it, it still might get on the cargo hold of some airplane. Okay. And that's chilly. And also, um, it is, uh, you know, if it's not upright, when it's shipped, it's going to be messy. We get the machines in here all the time, and they're, the boxes soak through. The and boxes turn into a soggy mess, and there's this machine inside there all dripping wet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, <coughs> heat exchanger. So, what is my first step? Take all the pieces and parts. Well, let's, let's turn it off. Okay. You get it up to temperature first. That's really your first step. Get it up to temperature so that when you go to drain, you're actually going to get something out of here instead of it. So let's take the drip tray off. And you need, you know, I prefer doing this outside. Okay. It can squirt everywhere because it does. It's going to squirt all over the place. But we don't have that luxury. So if you can take this outside, take it outside. Take it outside. Then, yeah, uh, take then it that's outside. a good you idea. Do. Take it outside. <laughs> so we're just going to use the sink here. Okay. I'm going to put a rag down too because I'm going to tilt it on its side. I'm going to take this off. Take the water tank out. Because obviously you don't want to be sucking water in. Nope. As you're trying to. Uh, well, and you won't. Yeah, you, I mean, if you tilt this on its side, you'd have water all over the place. Yeah. And I've done it. That's how come I know. <laughs> how do, and how do I know that cargo holds are cold? That's where I ride when I go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Put Grammy in the back. My, my, uh, yeah, my family sticks me in a box and labels where I'm going to. Okay. okay so we're just going to tip this on its side. And like I said, it's going to go all over the place. Let's get the rag out of the way and open this up. And by tipping it on its side, you're going to get more water out of the boiler. Okay. Yep. Um... So this is taking everything out of the steam boiler. Are we going to have to do the brew boiler separately? This is a heat exchanger. I mean, well, the heat exchange section of it, or does well, that matter? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to turn it on its other side and make sure I can get as much as I can out of the other side as well. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm going to do both. This should take care of how nice it's done, but okay. Give it up for the team. And you can kind of tilt it around and sometimes you get a little bit more, mm -hmm. depending on where the outlet is on your boiler. Okay. So I'm gonna close that now. And I'm gonna tip it to the other side. These things are not light, folks. No. Just in case you're wondering. <laughs> it's a, I'm strong. <laughs> <laughs> Gail's been working out in preparation for this video. Yeah, right. Like I said, I got up this morning. That's good enough for me. <laughs> so it's in the opposite direction, but still. You don't want to grab anything that's hot, by the mm -hmm. way, just in case. I don't think I'm going to get anything out of here because I think most everything went in the other direction. Yep. Okay. That's it. And so is there, there's, but you don't open up the brew head at all? There's no water in that heat exchange? I don't think so. Let's open it up and see what happens. You mean the E61 yeah. part of it? Let's see. It probably all siphoned back into the tank would be my guess. Okay. Because it's just a passive. There's no pump. Oh, it's a little, last little piddle. You get any toilet paper? We just wipe it? Give it a little bitty. wipe wipe? <laughs> cool. Okay. So all right. That's basically good enough, I would say, to ship it off somewhere. Or to store it in a, in a cold place. Yep. yep. Exactly. And, you know, I wouldn't leave water in it, even if I was storing it in a warm place. It's just... 
All that water sitting in there. Okay. All right. All so right. shipping, storage, do this mm -hmm. um, before you're going to leave it, I guess, by itself for a Absolutely. while. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, I think it's real important. It just for the healthy part of this whole machine. We've seen less machines come in for repair. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things if people don't follow our directions that we send them in an email about doing it, man, they got a real mess. And it's costly. Yeah, it real is. Real costly. All right, cool. So that is draining your heat exchange espresso machine. Thanks, Gail. You bet.